leaked emails from the Columbus Police Department just revealed that the highly suspicious July 12 arrest of former Trump mistress and award-winning adult actress Stormy Daniels was, in fact, a politically motivated setup by the cops. Earlier this month, Daniels was dancing at the Sirens Gentlemen's Club in Columbus, Ohio, the latest stop on her Make America Horny Again tour, when she allowed a customer to come on stage and touch her in an unspecified manner. She was stunned when the customer then revealed himself to be an undercover vice cop who arrested the famous sex worker because in Ohio, an employee who regularly appears nude or semi-nude at a sexually oriented business is not allowed to touch someone not related to them while nude or semi-nude. The charges were dismissed almost immediately and the police chief was forced to apologize for their mistake. But that didn't stop a whistleblower from releasing several incriminating emails to the Fayette Advocate which reports that they contained news clippings discussing Daniels' planned appearance in Columbus, pictures of Daniels with President Donald Trump, videos of her dancing, and even a map to the club where she would be performing, all sent days before she would pull into town on her tour bus. Detective Shauna Keckley, one of the officers who helped make the big bust, sent the bulk of the emails and was caught writing your welcome, thank me in person later to another cop shortly after the arrest. In an interview with the Fayette Advocate, the West Leblower said that it is clear that Keckley and her fellow officers were there because of Stormy and only because of Stormy, the emails definitely show that the police lied about it being a prostitution and human trafficking mission. Daniel's lawyer Michael Avenatti flew to Twitter in a rage, declaring that he was going to get to the bottom of this and find out exactly who in the Columbus Police Department knew what the real motivation behind this absurd sting was. To see police officers abuse their power like this to punish a woman for speaking out against a prominent political figure is disgusting, especially to see them try to claim this was a human trafficking mission, but sadly not unsurprising. Using the tools of state violence to punish women for owning their sexuality and for calling out powerful men has a long and shameful history in the United States, and this incident is an illuminative glimpse into how police officers have weaponized well-meaning efforts to halt human trafficking and exploitation into yet another way they can harass, demean, and prosecute sex workers for doing their jobs.